Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Sam Ohio PPBL Pathway presentation. My name is Sylvia Said, and I'm a sophomore at PPBL, which stands for Personalized Project Based Learning. Um, worldwide, there are about 200 personalized project based learning schools. Um, at our school, we're able to engage in many internships and meet many new people from different fields and careers um, based on our student interests. And through PBL, we are also um, able to receive a Samuel High Diploma um, after our four years of high school. Hi, my name is Isis Perez, and I am also a student at PPBL. Uh, we can take SMC courses, uh, which are college courses. Uh, I am currently taking Japanese, uh, and it's pretty fun to take that class. Uh, we have a thing called Leave to Learn, where we go uh, out in our community and we visit uh, places around that align with our interests. So we have uh, gone to VR studios and explored that uh, career and seen how it is to work in that field. Hi, my name is Quillen, and I am a student at PPBL. Um, uh, so far, some highlights that we've had at PPBL. Um, we were able to create indiv individualized learning plans um, and uh, meet academic goals through um, independent projects. Um, we focused on social justice standards um, and, uh, yeah, next slide. Uh, last year um, and this year, we have uh, had professional um, internships uh, connected with uh, different people in fields we're interested in, um, made prototypes, models um, to demonstrate our learning. Uh, we also take uh, that that's included in the um, one to four period courses at the new newly renovated um, Michelle and Barack Obama Center for Inquiry and Exploration on Ocean Park in Lincoln. Uh, we also benefit from uh, small class sizes, um, which maintains a strong relationship between students and advisors. Um, we're able to also participate with our um, friends at Samuel High in sports, um, clubs, and social events. Uh, we're also able to take SMC courses um, and earn a high school diploma. Um, this is our week at a glance schedule. Um, you can see on Monday, um, we start with advisory. Um, advisory is a good time to uh, check in with your advisor to plan out your week, um, make goals and work one-on-one uh, -on -one, basically. Uh, you can see that we have advisory on Monday, Thursday and a bigger chunk on Friday. Um, we also have um, humanities and STEAM blocks. Uh, STEAM encompasses biology, math, um, uh, algebra two, you know, uh, it encompasses uh, math and science. Then we have humanities and that covers um, history and also English. Um, and that basically covers uh, all of the credits for that, that course within uh, one block. Then we have uh, lunch and lunch is either on PBPL campus at the Michelle and Barack Obama Center for Inquiry and Exploration or um, at Samuel High, where we're able to eat, eat lunch with other Samuel High students. Um, and then after lunch, uh, we have uh, courses on Samuel High main campus, um, and that is either PE, uh, sport, or an elective. Uh, this is a 10th grade weekly schedule, and it's, it's pretty similar, um, except, you know, it, it just scrambled around a little bit differently. Um, and of course, this year, since uh, we're doing distance learning, 
uh, everything is a little bit different, but you can still see it has the basic fundamentals. Um, basically, this section of the presentation is kind of talking about um, some of the things uh, students and parents have accomplished um, together, and then also things that students have done on their own or um, in accordance with, you know, members of the community and leaders. Um, this is actually a PPBL um, uh, video made by students, parents, and teachers. Um, that will tell you more um, about the program as a whole, um, which can be found elsewhere. Um, one of the projects we were able to take part in is the We, we Are America project. Um, our teacher, Bailey Field, um, the PPBL English teacher, uh, was one of 50, about 50 teachers across the US to take part in this We Are America project. Um, in this, we were able to take a certain aspect of ourselves and just write about it and express how we feel about it. Um, we had an option to do one project of our interest and I decided to do um, genetics. And I had to research and make a final product in order to fulfill my science, math, English, and history requirements for this year. Um, so the presentations of learning um, are part of PPBL that are different um, than a lot of, well, it's different than what a lot of other schools do. Um, basically, at the beginning of every semester, um, we write up a learning plan that we use to identify goals and what things we want to accomplish by the end of the semester. Um, and then at the end of the semester, we create a presentation um, that we present to our parents and our peers, um, as well as our advisor, um, that uh, kind of track our progression um, through the semester um, and whatever other goals you might have. Enrollment goals. Uh, in order to enroll, the applicants must be current SMMUS students or reside within the SMMUSD attendance boundaries. Uh, to achieve balanced representation of everyone in the SMMUSD community, uh, there will be uh, spaces for everyone, uh, and there will be equal representation of different students. Um, if you have any questions, there will be virtual Q&A sessions with um, teachers, students, and um, current parents um, in the program. Um, to register for a session, um, the link is on the slide right now. Um, uh, we have uh, 100 uh, ninth grade spots opening up this year. There are also um, additional 10th and 11th grade spots. Um, space is limited um, and the deadline is March 12th, um, 2021. So please visit the website link um, to sign up. Um, if you have any additional questions and are not able to make it to our virtual Q&A sessions, feel free to email our principal Jessica Risch and our assistant principal Nicole Nicodemus.